Bye. Bye. <sighs> Free postage. There you go, there's the car boot. It's not that I want to quit YouTube. It's just, it's been a while, hasn't it? I'm back and people wonder how I fit it all in. Was the the business, the kids, the house, blah, blah, blah. Well, I can't, truth be told. There you go, lens in the car. We got a teenager, a tween, and a toddler, and two dogs. I'm struggling to fit it all in, so I'm gonna start bringing the camera with me. Hey! <laughs> start bringing the camera with me, and just show you my day, warts and all. Maybe cut down on the editing, flashy bits and fancy pants. Thanks, Len. Got <laughs> <laughs> a cheerleader in the back. Got a cheerleader in the back. We've just come back off a mini break. We've been to Centre Parks again. My mum's 6th very good. My eBay store is not stagnant, but it needs a kick up the butt. So we need new listings today, new photos. I've got some orders to pick up. We could do some thrifting as well. And I've got pick orders as well. So it's a bit of everything all jammed packed into one day, which is like that, but every day at a moment in my life. So we literally have a list of what to do today. And it involves a couple of shops, which I can branch off in and do a bit of thrifting. I think there's a Bernardo's we can go in. Might be going in a TK Maxx, have a quick cheeky look. Um, yeah, got some vintage orders to pick up. Gonna do more of this type of video because that's all I've got time for really. So if you like this sort of thing, subscribe down below. I think there's a new feature. If you press the subscribe button and it's not pressed already, it does a little flashy flash thing, which is quite cool. So give it a go. First stop, and you can get some RA, I have in the past, B&Q. This is one of my work days, Tuesday and Wednesday. Amy doesn't work, so it's part time. This is where I can focus on work more. But while we're doing family chores, obviously need to make it worth my time. So whenever we're in a shop, like being q I I need to make sure I'm potentially finding stuff to make money on. That's what we're gonna do right now. Boxes. Long ones. Do you need any? No. It's not as likely to find stuff to resell in a B&Q, but this year I have found some, including toilet basins, lights, lamps, uh, filters, yeah, random stuff. It just depends what is on the clearance. There you go, there's a racking on clearance. Is that right? No, oh, that one, buzzed 43, 21.50 for a metal shelving unit. I don't need one. We got a spa actually this year, treated ourselves after the house move. Lazy spa extras, what's this? Oh, steps, we don't need steps. Alkalinity increaser. Thought it'd be more of a sale on the hot tub stuff. Yeah, not looking like there's much clearance, but we'll continue looking. A sink, 135 to 35 pound. What's wrong with it? Oh, there you go, it's X display. Saving 100 quid. So yeah, extra spray. Don't know if that would be worth it. It's big and heavy and bulky. Ah, oh, there is a mark. There's a mark to it. I've just remembered my best um, RA from B&Q this year. And it was from this Chelmsford one in the, um, what's it called? Like the trade centre. I've got a trade card. They had full on radiators, brand new, for a pound each. <laughs> They're down to £10. Uh, I was just looking at them and the woman behind the desk said, woman, <laughs> the cashier said they're down to a pound now if you want them. So I got two of the same, which I've sold one for 50 quid local pickup, 50 pound cash from a pound. But yeah, for a quid, that was easily the best. Free radiators for three quid. Nice. Here we go. Got shower screens now, down to 30 pound. But obviously it's a shower screen, so it's massive. It's not for me. But yeah, if you've got a B&Q near you, it's always worth a pop in, even if you're popping in anyway. For some paint, wallpaper, or whatever. Have a little look round. There could be a one pound radiator. Look out for these random buckets as well, actually. They go clearance now on. They're making way for new ranges. That's the best time to come. Yeah, in these random like baskets, you can get stuff for like a quid 50p. Obviously, this is a angle bracket set for a pound. Even on eBay, if you can get like, what, 8.99? like from a pound, there's loads of them. It could be worth your time. Obviously it depends on 
if you want to deal with lower value stuff but one listing the same thing that dish 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 could be worth it but yeah as a random example I don't know if this would be worth it but yeah something to bear in mind if you like multiple quantity listings then something like that keep an eye out for fish and B&Q got a little bucket of stuff for Amy nothing for me this time but wasn't planning on picking anything up it can be hit and miss with B&Q but should get some more in the next shop because going to Asda, 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 and there's a Bernardo's donation center. But it can be priced, it's more of a boutique now. There was a day, once upon a time, and all clothing on the rail, 99p an item. Now it's six pounds plus, which is annoying, but you can get good brands there, so always worth a look. Get a buggy out. Oosh, look at that one hand. Oh, no, not quite. It's a new buggy, I'm not used to it. It. Wait. There we go. Go on then, boy. Who you get? Here we are. The donation centre. See what the prices are like today. So oh, this is quite interesting. Brand new and sealed. Question of sports soccer. Only three quid. Don't know if there's. Just drop it on the floor. The hell. <laughs> I always drop stuff on camera. So there's cards, who am I? So I don't know if there's any people from 1992. I'd have a rare card, but it's new and sealed. Worth looking up. I'll leave it there for a minute. There, we'll look that one up, especially new and sealed. Just scan through the men's clothes. But this answers my question. Brand new, 7.99 free postage. It's a no-go, <laughs> never mind. Found a potential first pickup. Burghaus, Burgess, size large, five pound, like a quarter sip fleece, obviously men's size, and then one behind it is vintage starter, again size large, probably the same donator, four pound, plain, not sure if that'd be worth it, it's a full sip that one, no like hit or anything, but it's just a vintage tag, four pound, good price though, but yeah I might take that one for a fiver, take that one straight away. Should be worth probably 22 to 25 pounds plus postage. Uh, I'll leave the starter one for now. The price is all over the place. There we go, I've got brand new Timberland with the tags, 20 quid as seen. Always a rubbed flag as seen. And if we go back here, we've got Ralphie, long sleeve Ralphie for 15 pounds used, but then only four pounds for this vintage piece. So a bit hit or miss. Jacket's now £10, Maine, New England. That's quite cool. I haven't got to it yet, but I can see the tag. Barber. How much do you think this barber quilted jacket will be in Bernardo's Chamber Village? I just saw the price, so I can't play myself. Guesses, three, two, one. It's a nice one, and it's 40 beans. Ooh, get roughly that on eBay. Yeah, it's nice though, but not for 40 quid in a charity shop for me, personally. This one was a bit of a shame. Vintage Tommy Hilfiger swim shorts. All right. Pattern on the side. That vintage tag. Looks cool. Priced at £5, which I thought was going to be all right, but size small. They don't be... And Tommy doesn't seem to be fetching so much recently. I looked them up, vintage swim shorts. Might get 11 12 Some from a fiver. They're cool. But no money in it for me, so can't be attached to these things. So just that Burghaus, Burgess, Burghaus item in the end, five pound, it fits me, and it's quite chilly. And then grab a coat, mistakenly, and it's only, oh, six degrees now, it was four. So yeah, 20, oh, turn off the music. 20 to 25 from Fiverr, not amazing, but it's a pickup at least. And now we're off to, we're off to, Hobby Crafts, which is Chalmer Village, Retail Park, TK Maxx, and there's one other shop that I've kept hush hush until today. We're gonna pop in there, see if we can get some RA. What's Exciting. That? You have to find out. <laughs> no, I don't even know. Thanks. I'm not what that that's X. Can't say X anymore, it's X. You have to name the sound. We've got B K D. Eh, I think I'm saying them right. 
That's the number two. You just say two now. There you go. Three. You're not three. Or Lenny is two. Two point three. That's probably about right. You're about two and a third ish. So my top secret, or well not top secret, but my secret ish shop. I was getting some proper bargains, the way I still do. Heading in there now. JD Sports. Who'd have thought? How do people buy things from you? This. Nike. Leggings. 50 beans. 50 quid. Look at that. 50 quid. Fair bloody leggings. I'm so in shock. It's crazy. Get on vinted, I say. I always say it. Instead of paying 50 quid, you play five pound <laughs> so where we're going we're going upstairs to the trainers because you can get trainers for as low as five pounds pounds for the four it tends to be the last size so it could be a random size like a seven six or something but yeah if it's the last shoe in that size then you can get as low as five pound like i said i was in here about a month ago got four pairs five pound five pound eight pound i think one was ten crazy even the regular offers, sometimes you can make a bit of money. If you don't mind spending up a little bit. But we're interested in this middle bit here. Sometimes you get a right treat. Like for example, these could be 10. But it'll be the last shoe. There you go. There's a 10 pound special, but they're kids. Doesn't look like there's any in here today. No specials. Sort of half pricing. 40 pound from 80. 30 from 60. 45 last chance so they're still 100 quid okay. no specials today so nothing in JD but we'll come to TK Maxx probably the main shop I come in for RA oh, I seem to walk out with something at the moment which is good interesting that we're not even in winter technically yet and there's already coats and jackets in the clearance section I'm all for it because it means we're in eBay season. Scotch and soda, lots of it at the moment in TK Maxx. 32. Recommended retail price 210, apparently. Who knows? Found a couple of good deals. I think I'm going to pick these up. Couldn't find any search results, but this is Playboy and Fila collab. Just a crop t shirt. Apparently recommended retail 70, but £11. That's quite cool. Don't know what it would be worth, but obviously brand new tags, good size. It is an XL women's, I'm not sure what that is. Was that 16, 18? I think 16. So that's cool. And then this seems like a bargain. Adidas crop sweatshirt, another bigger size, 20 to 22. Again, brand new tags, don't think I need to keep saying that. But this one, I think it was actually cheaper. This is a tenner, which is mad. Look. £10, brand new Adidas sweatshirt. Amazing, should hopefully be like 30 35 I'd say. New tags. Yeah, hang on, to, I might put the Playboy back, but I'll think about it. But yeah, definitely gonna get that one. Now in the men's, again, jackets. Like proper winter jackets in the clearance. Oh, bit of Ralphie, RLX. It's probably too expensive, oh yeah. <laughs> Recommend, recommended retail, 600, 162. Nice. But yeah, up to here, I think I found a pickup from the men's. Again, Ralphie, stretch slim fit chinos, 20 quid. And a good size as well, 36 inch waist. Green color, like posh boy green. Yeah, definitely add that to the basket then. What do you mean no? Yeah, add them to the basket then. Yeah, okay, loads of clearance, which is good. Is it recorded? Oh yeah. So we're actually heading back to Braintree now, where we live. Been chilling out in Chelmsford all morning. One sec. Round about. <laughs> Apparently we're gonna crash. We're not gonna crash, don't worry. There, yeah, we're in back home now. I don't know why I've done air quotes. We are back home in Braintree. Some more errands to run. Some vintage parcels to collect. Then we're gonna drop Amy off because Len's asleep. We're gonna pick some orders because I sold some stuff.
two parcels. Can't actually remember what's in them, but we'll find out later. Do a little haul. There's more to pick up at the post office yet. Welcome back to my unit, the old shipping container. I believe it's 20 foot. I don't really know, but all I know is it's getting chilly in here and I can't wait to be back at home in the garden and hopefully a nice wooden workshop shed thing, which is coming soon, hopefully sooner rather than later. But for now, this is the business. This is where I work from, or well, pick my orders at least and store my items. Um, my light's not working because it's run out of charge, so it's nice and dark. Just, <laughs> just juggling so many plates. Just things like charging a light, I forget about. So, fun, fun, fun. So yeah, I'm here to pick orders. Obviously went to Santa Parks, was on holiday. So I've got to pick them. Uh, I probably won't go as in depth as I usually do, but I'll show you what I sold. Um, got my labels, printed them last night. And then um, get off and get them delivered and then get back home again. So two Depop orders first, I've already picked them. First of all, I picked these up at a boot sale. I think quite a recent video, Ralphie sunglasses like y2k type design they probably won't sue me it's quite cool actually with the old higher neck yeah these were what are these these were five pound i believe no fakey wakey whatever she said at the time and these have gone for 28.99 plus a bit of postage 2.99 postage it's a nice little mark up there i really enjoy picking up sunglasses especially like y2k on 90s like vintage sunglasses yeah, they sell really quick and they're quite cool to look at as well. So, and obviously small to store, so it's just cool. Then these, again, boot sale. This was the midweek boot sale, my favorite, as I said, which is, I haven't been to it for ages and it's only just shut the past couple of weeks because of the weather. But these at the time, what were these? 22 pound and I got a bundle of shoes and that um, at the time. I think these came out at 22 pound. Listed in August, sold on Depot. They literally sold I was on the way back to Braintree, which is quite cool. So I can pack them nice and early, get them sent out. Bit of customer satisfaction, just waffling. £64. And um, Depop, actually. I don't have to faff about with getting my own labels. Depop finally supplied our own labels. So it's paid for by my buyers still. Postage isn't free. But I have changed a bit slightly on that as well. But I'll get, back. I'll get to that in a future video or maybe later. Yeah, 20, 22 pound for a boot sale, a couple of months to sell, 64 quid. Yeah, nice heel in them, DMs, quite a rare model. Rare. You can buy them, but um, not seen very much. So, yeah, two sales, Depop still going all right for me. Obviously, eBay is by far the best income owner. First sale on eBay, sharp vintage headphones. From a big boot sale again, 18 pound into 75. This time we got Sunday boot sale, my second boot sale, five pound into 29.99 plus postage. Listed, literally a couple of weeks, maybe a week, and yeah, I did that high tops. Already bagged up. Just love footwear so much. Might be specialising a bit more into it. Just a lot more footwear, a lot less bulky, heavy, electrically stuff. Because I haven't got time for it easy look at that done out the door dropping everything again <laughs> now i paid up for this one i paid 20 pounds for this like ralphie vintage 1990s harrington type jacket bomber jacket i've been in iron for ages but i hit the bullet it was obviously a cool vintage ralphie piece i thought 20 quid i'm hoping it'll sell quickly and it did i listed this last night literally nine o'clock last night and it sold this morning for $49.99 plus $2.99 postage. So yeah, after fees and that, I've doubled in a little bit more, maybe 23, 25 pound profit from 20 quid. So sometimes it is worth paying a little bit more, especially when you get a sale in like 12 to 24 hours. I love it being back on Vinted. I actually got my account back. I thought it was gone forever, but suddenly I randomly logged in one day and I seem to be allowed back on. So at the moment, I'm not selling on Vinted until they introduce the pro account which i'm hoping will be soon very soon but for now I'm quite happy just sniping on there and buying because i get deals like this these are vans they were not just vans they were a special collaboration vans walled um basically built a little bit more rugged 
these were eight pound all in so like five plus the postage and all that we printed so eight quid into 26.09 so not amazing but thought they're quite cool and they're cheap and cheerful i think this was one of the first purchases i made since being back on vintage to buy i've been back on there about a month or two probably a couple of months um finally listed them and they sold quick again love it Love a pair of shoes. This is a pair of Lokes, but they were made in England. They're vintage. Didn't sell as well as so I was hoping. They've been lingering for a long time. Paid five pounds in a charity shop. Listed in March. Finally sold in November, mid-November. Uh, Twenty-one pound. Free postage. <sighs> postage isn't free. Well, yeah, I'll probably cover it in another video coming up soon. But I've started introducing free postage on certain items. Again, to find out. Subscribe to that channel, not that channel, this channel. Subscribe to this channel, and I'm gonna go through in a future video what I have done to drastically change into free postage, basically. Another vintage buy. These are some Nike SB trainers <laughs> with like a strap across. Um, they were listed for like four pounds plus the postage. So again, I was about seven, eight pounds. Uh, they listed, I saw Nike SB, good condition, snapped them up straight away. Not as strong as I thought, these went for 23 39 plus postage. Uh, so after fees and everything, again, not great, but still profit. Because uh, on vintage, you have to be quick to get them quick deals. Jumble trail pickup. Picked up, was it three or four of these? Five pound each? Yeah, four of them. Paid 20 pound all in for four of these Waylex. It's like a electrical thing <laughs> this is the last one to sell each one owes me a fiver this one's gone for 20 pounds plus postage i think and i was getting yeah i think the top end i was getting 28.99 they've got 25 last one accepted an offer 20 quid owes me nothing because i'm in profit on the other three so i'm glad that one's out of the way and a bit of a different pickup as well got from a jumble trail which i don't really rate too much probably random item of the day bulbs energy saving bulbs I've got a bag full of these, 20p each, maybe even 10p each. I had a whole, like, had a whole box of Philips and Osram bulbs at a charity shop, and I was dropping Lenny off at my mother-in-law's. Uh, I was donating some of the stuff and took a chance on them. So yeah, literally 10 to 20p each on these. I've got sort of 20 to 30 of these bulbs, selling sets of three like this, and a set of three, uh, 12.99 plus free postage. There we go, free postage again. Uh, just to get them moving i was doing 12.99 plus postage but i took the postage off and this is about the second or third set to go within a week or two so yeah they're starting to move and they were dirt cheap midweek boots now again and from a dealer that's always expensive but i've got two of these vintage brass pineapples like ice buckets for like i think this one was 7.50 oh yeah 15 pound for two i sold one Quite a while ago, the first one went really quick. This is the slightly smaller one, I believe. Uh, Ocean 750, like I said, 32.29 plus postage of 3.99. Uh, yeah, I always like these. Obviously, an older channel symbol, the pineapple, since been dismissed. Uh, but yeah, really like seeing these, and they always sell strong. This one took a while. I listed this one in September, so not too bad really. But I uh, thought it would go a bit quicker and a slightly bit stronger. But yeah, still 32 quid. Plus I sold the other one, the bigger one, for bigger money. So, yeah, nice to get one on a dealer that's normally expensive. Apparently I bought these from a boot sale. I can't remember what boot sale. Yes, I do. Midweek, I just remembered. Uh, five pound from my midweek boot sale, near the end of the boot sale. Just needed a bit of varnish. You can't see them in the bag. But, um, yeah, they're only five. I listed them last week. And they've gone for £85.49. Not made in England or anything. These are called... Uh, crazy horse they're like Chelsea boots called crazy horse and for some reason it demands a bit more money so yeah 85 quid for not made in England I'm having that fail of the weekend are these Vivian Westwood welly boots like ankle welly boots normally a very good pickup luckily they only owe me like two or three pounds they've only gone for 10 pound free postage because there's a bit of damage so like some scraping going on that I didn't realize at the time so technically, even with the fail of the weekend, I've still technically made profit. But obviously, Vivian Westwood, you're going to want to be wanting more than a 10 or 3 postage, aren't you? But they're gone. They've lingered because of the damage. But I'm being ruthless. And they're gone. Which is the main thing. A bit of Armani jeans. 
again in the bag you can't really see it but these were eight pound from a boot sale one of the last ones of the year i went to uh size uh, seven so smaller men's really want eight plus but um yeah, eight pound into 30 pound plus the postage so for not bad um but yeah again being ruthless starting to linger the size was quite small wasn't getting much interest someone offered me 30 and i snapped it I'm making profit it's not taking up much room easy to pack so i'd rather take the slightly smaller profit than just waiting and waiting and waiting god knows how long for like an extra five or a ten quid no so um that's that one if you're going in charity shops now that play music you might notice they've started playing christmas songs and this is a timely sale yeah santa fiber optic owes me two pound sixty which is random two pound sixty charity shop listed in september so not christmas time now the christmas songs have started it finally sold and it went for 23.08 could have got a bit more but again if someone's offering some money or someone's taking an offer that i've sent out then yeah move it along it's owed me what is it two pound sixty it owes me maybe two pound fifty that should have said two sixty seems random slightly bigger as well so a bit more room on my shelf to hopefully fill for some more blah, 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 blah. i can't talk to hopefully fill with some more whoa worth more money i'm gonna drop it in a minute i'm gonna put it down for it from the same charity shop as that santa one Another £2.50, got this nice vintage glass lampshade. It's that orange on the outside, white on the inside. That's literally what it is. Yeah, nice and simple, but obviously not simple to pack. Well, it's quite easy, it won't take too much longer. Square box, padding, done. Just make sure it gets in one piece. Uh, two fifty into £25.64. So I think I've listed that for £28.29.99. Whew! <laughs> sent out offers or vouchers that I've been sending out someone's taken it up plus the postage and last sale to wrap up for today is a Patagonia piece Patagonia just a zip up no embroidery or anything on it no logos just a plain zip up I suppose this thing can sell quicker and for a lot stronger I only got 20 quid for this free postage for a Patagonia piece men's large 20 quid no one's taking it I think I started it high at like 49.99 brought it down brought it down best offers on vouchers sent out offers but yeah is patagonia going down in price i don't know but really i should have kept it really men's large fits me i should have kept that really forgot i had it if i remembered and i'm taking 20 quid for it patagonia never mind it's gone my new ruthless streak of if it's lingering yes yeah, slash the price best offers everything it's out the door i've made profit i got it from where did i get it it's a charity shop I can't see it now, but I think it owes me a fiver from a charity shop. So again, still made profit. Just a bit disappointing that one. Patagonia Men's Large for 20 quid. Someone's got a bargain. That's all the wrapping done. Uh, about 95% of them have labels. A couple of them I've made since this morning. So I haven't got the labels just yet. But a nice pile going out. Not as good as it has been recently. Past month or so has been super strong. I've been consistent with listings. So at least five a day, every day if I can. Might miss the, you know, one or two days, but yeah consistency is key going into the next year which i'm already thinking about which is mad 2024 is soon here and it's all about consistency and being ruthless so i've unloaded the car it feels like my life is constantly juggling the car boot at the minute not the car boot out the literal car boot there's literally family stuff picturing stuff orders all the time juggle juggle it's mad I've now unloaded this guy IKEA bag to now fill with my orders. Jeez! Juggle, juggle, tell ya. And I took the time, I haven't had lunch yet. I need to go and get the girls. Like by the time I've dropped all this off and got back to Chelmsford to pick the girls up, yeah, it's the end of school time. They've got to get back. It's going to be dark before I know it. I haven't had lunch. Still haven't done any picturing, done no listing. You see why well, there's not been so many videos this year? Madness, absolute madness. <laughs> oh my god. Obviously, with Christmas coming up, there always seems to be some sort of shopping thing to do or this and that. It's literally mental. I don't know, I can tell you. So, I told you about the juggling. There you go, there's the car boot full to the brim until I drop them off. So, that's now my next job while doing a school run pick up time already absolute manic right finished the unit we're driving out 
and yeah, it's coming up to 25 past two and the girls finish at three. So I've got 35 minutes and it takes about 20 to get to Chelmsford to pick the girls up. So I've got a spare 15 minutes to drop some of these parcels off. And on the way, there is actually a co-op that has in-post lockers for my Hermes. Hermes, every, sorry. So I can drop every off in the in-post, yodel in the co-op, and then if there's any postable raw mails, that can go in a post box. One downside to Braintree is no parcel post boxes for raw mail. There's two in Chelmsford, uh, which we won't be passing or going near, which is a shame today. I used to love that in Chelmsford. They had two parcel post boxes and they fit in up to like a small parcel, like a large small parcel. So as soon as I package anything or everything, especially during the winter when it's mostly clothes and shoes and smaller stuff, all my stuff could just go raw mail, post them in the post box or parcel post box and done. I don't have to queue up anywhere or anything. The only downside was if one's full up, we can't fit them all in, then I'd have to go to the other one. But there's two in Chelmsford. So I was in Chelmsford anyway. So I've gone from two to none. Unless I'm suddenly in Chelmsford and I'm near one. And I have happened to have the parcels in the parcel boat, uh, in the boot of the car. It, um, see what I mean? <laughs> it's not that I want to quit YouTube. It's just, I can't, I haven't got the time to do all the videos that I used to do. It's actually nuts. I was doing when I first started, the first two and a half years, um, I was doing like two, maybe sometimes three videos a week. And now I'm doing one or two, maybe three videos a month at the moment. And even then I'm having to push one of them out. And yeah, people thinking I'm losing love of YouTube, or whatever. It's just pure time. Literally like today. I need to pick the girls up already. We had to do a few errands in Chelmsford. I got to Braintree to pick my orders. I haven't had time for lunch. The girls will be back. Then it's dinner time. <laughs> it's, yeah, it, this is literally my life every day at the moment, which is quite stressful and very busy. So I'm still here, still chugging away, just at a very difficult and busy point in our lives at the moment with obviously two basically teenagers and a toddler that's not quite a nursery but is starting nursery soon in the new year so I should free up some time and there's my alarm that's the school pickup alarm meaning I've got five minutes to start getting my shoes on to start getting to pick the girls up I'm hungry I want something to eat <laughs> I'm jealous of you resellers that don't have any children. <laughs> Joking. Won't change it for the world. School run or school pickup done. Drop the girls off. Just come to my little post office because I've got, I think, what, two or three um, raw mails to go out that didn't fit in a normal post box. Uh, I've got an Amazon return. Lenny, well, Lenny's present that we don't need anymore because we swapped it for something else. And I've got about six or seven vintage parcels to pick up because we've been away and whatever else about a week's worth of vintage pickups to do so yeah be a good old haul cut 15 minutes later when there's a big old queue and i finally got all my parcels there's more than i thought there's about 10 to 12 not six seven <laughs> so yeah it's nearly four o'clock already night is coming in <sighs> i'm finally home i haven't been home properly since this morning when we left for the school run. I'll show you how many parcels I've got left. All these are from Vinted. Got some free cardboard. This IKEA bag is full. There's this, we've got a couple of bits from today. There's another one spinning over. So because it's spilling over and I want to try and do more regular videos, I'm gonna save this for the next video. Try and I've got another work day tomorrow dropping off Lenny at the mother-in-laws and I've got a full day of work so tune in for the next video and I'll do a vintage unboxing or haul unboxing haul so yeah something to look forward to I'm gonna get inside get warm get a cup of tea get dinner on so yeah hopefully you can see how hectic I am at the moment hopefully it improves as time goes on but um yeah thanks for tuning in hopefully you found this fun I'm gonna try and do a bit more of this so 
yeah if you want to see this you know what to do subscribe button do it now